G'day guys, X-Ray Racer 1 here and uh, this is update number 24 of Project N Scale. And guys, I'm pleased to say that quite a lot has been done. Uh, if you recall, uh, last video I was just, I basically finished up with wiring, things like that. And you got to see uh, one of the trains go around, make an entire, uh, I guess you could say, circuit around the layout. And, uh, and as you can see here, pretty sure I touched on this in the previous video, but I have the scenery back down here from uh, where it was all scraped away and where I laid track. So as you can see, that's down. But as we move over here, guys, as you can see, I've got quite a lot done. Now, there's still a fair bit to go, but it's coming along just fine. Um, I've got, I reckon, probably 97% of my ballasting down. I actually uh, just finished ballasting the uh, turntable area. Uh, as you can possibly see, um, there's like a few different, there's like a, a couple of little patches. Um, what had happened uh, is I'd run out of scenic cement. So what I decided to do was I just got some white glue and did like a one part glue to three parts water mix with a little dishwashing liquid. Mixed it up and you know, it's, it's worked. Uh, this side here is just done. It's drying, but you know, I've done this side here. Um, but what had happened is as I was uh, putting the glue down, uh, I got a few runs and the, water, the glue mixture came flying out and created like a little, I uh, guess you could call it a gully. So the thing, so there was like a funny crease in there, so I've had to put some ballast around there, so I'll go over that again later with a bit of glue. Uh, but apart from that, uh, that's come out just fine. I've done ballasting up to this point here. And um, if you look closely here, you can see this section here and that section right there is not ballasted. I have some um, uh, crossings coming. They should be here either today or tomorrow. Um, so I'll be putting those in, then I'll finish up with the ballasting. So that'll be the ballasting done. I have the ballasting done for the uh, gravel company kit. And as you can see too, I have weathered my gravel company kit uh, building. Um, what I'll do is I'll just, just have to excuse me guys, I've got to get under here. Oh, starting to feel it. <sighs> okay, so, so as you can see here, I've weathered it. I used the uh, Deluxe Materials uh, Rust Effect for weathering. So, it's at what it is, um, I may have touched on it once before, but what it is, it's, actu it's actual uh, metal filings, like really fine metal, uh, and you, m you mix it up in this uh, like uh, adhesive, uh, you, I forget the mixture ratio, but then you put the uh, filing mix over how you want to weather, you let it dry and then you get this other liquid which is basically uh, an acidic oxidizer which causes the metal filings to rust and you end up with rust, natural rust. So I've done that. I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out. But as you can see here too folks, I've done a lot of the scenery. I have to fix up a little bit around here with the ballasting. That's not too much to worry about. Um, but as you can also see, I have some trees 
put down in this area and if I come back under here, excuse me again folks, you're going to see the floor. So I've been putting trees around here. I've also um, put in some road. Now, funny thing with this part is this is a uh, knock um, uh, self-adhesive road. It um, comes on like a little roll and you roll it out and sticks to the wherever you want it to go. But here, funny enough, I ran out of road. It stopped about there. So I had just enough to do this section here, but it stopped about there. So I was like, damn, what am I going to do? So I've, what I've done is I've made this like dirt. like So I've got some road working crew coming as well, along with the uh, few other things, including the uh, crossing grate. And um, this section here uh, is uh, the mat, mat calf um, uh, bitumen uh, printed card. That's uh, come out quite well. And uh, I'm quite actually quite happy with how the scenery's turned out. And as you can see here, done all the ballasting. Um, the reason why the locomotives are here because that's all drying so it's doing its thing once that's done they'll go over there and, um, and as you can see it's coming along quite well uh, what I'm going to do here as you can see uh, this grass around here is rather dark ish and I wanted it because part of it is part of imagination uh, so it's the same grass that I use for this section here, but as you look as you look here, you can see this is uh, different. So what I'm wanting to do is I want it to make it look like a transition from this section moving across to over here. So where I've done this uh, same grass here, this will be the end of it, and then it'll be that darker stuff or lighter stuff rather over here because as you can see distinct difference in how it looks and so that's uh, how that's my plan of attack there um, over here as you can see um, coming along with my distribution center um, what I've done do I take that off because uh, this is cork I've got plaster and went around so it's sloped down and then what I'm going to do is sorry guys and I'm dropping stuff using this uh, Tamiya uh, Diana texture paint the pavement effects so it comes out looking like that it's, it's a little bit dirty at the moment because I've got some uh, turf sprinkled over there I've got to clean that up so it comes out like that so I'm going to use this stuff on here to be like give it that cement look uh, like it's on a found cement foundation and I'll probably come out a little bit but then I'll use uh, some paint and so other uh, probably use some woodland scenics paint for to paint the road area and um, as you can also see too I've got some trainworks trucks um, they're the same uh, this Optimus Prime truck there is a trainworks one I've had that for quite a while and uh, I'm really liking the detail on these Trainworks trucks. The trucks and the trailers are separate, but uh, I love the detail of them. If, if I can get it to zoom in, I mean, you can see the steering wheel. And if I bring it down, you can, yeah, you can see the steering wheel and the interior. In fact, I have another one over here. You might be able to see a little bit better. I zoom in as best I can I mean this is another one of those trucks I mean the detail like you can see the seats and to get like like to give you an idea of the scale that's my finger you know that's brilliant detail on these little trucks even got a little uh, Scania here that's actually an Oxford diecast truck and uh, 
Detail's not as good as the little uh, Trainworks trucks, but still pretty good nonetheless. But, um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much what I've been up to at the moment, guys. Uh, as you can see too, I have some uh, passengers on the, or people waiting on the station. Uh, at the moment, they're all uh, women on the station. Uh, all my male um, people that I have in a packet are currently um, doing other on other scenes and that. So most of them are actually over here on my uh, radio control car track. But I do have some more station people coming as well. Uh, you'll probably see them in the next video. But at the moment, I've got some just some people on the station here. And uh, yeah, so that's about it guys. Um, what I intend to do with this section here. So what I'll do, yeah, so I'll show you, I'll give you an idea of what I intend to do. So around here, what I want to do is I want to make this a uh, another locomotive service facility. So the reason why I stopped here is I intend to use um, some cork sheeting that's the same thickness as the cork road bed. It's made by the same company. It put it um, up around here so it's level. And I'll probably, tr I'll want to try and get some of that uh, Woodland Scenics smooth it so that the, uh, you just see the rails and the ties and that are all covered. And then I'll possibly go from there. But um, yeah, it's coming along good. So that's what this section will be here. Uh, over here, I'm going to have like a little repair store um, about there where it's not, where you can see it's not painted. Uh, over here, I have a junkyard building. So I'm going to make this a junkyard and I'm going to have it all fenced and everything like that. So that's what I've been up to. That's how far I've gotten, guys. It's uh, coming along nicely. If you have any questions or any tips or things like that, please don't um, hesitate to comment down below. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.